Hey guys, what is up? Today I'm gonna show you three simple tricks to turn a boring portrait video into a cool looking and interesting landscape video. I'm using Filmora X as an editor, but these layouts can be done in most editing software. No downloads or plugin required. You can follow these techniques if you shot a video vertically, but then maybe you wanna upload it to YouTube as a widescreen video. This can work on any video such as talking head, tech demo, tutorials, and many other styles as long as they are shot at a decent resolution. For this tutorial, we're gonna use a guitar playthrough. Let's see it unedited. So as you can see, that was pretty uninteresting. You can't really see the guitar because the video is zoomed out. The blank space on the side looked really ugly. And if you watch this vertically on a phone, it's gonna look even smaller. All right, so the first trick that we're gonna do is to add a zoomed in version of the video behind the original. This might not look the best, but it's super easy. All you have to do is duplicate the video, enlarge it, and put it behind the main video. Alright, so the second trick is just adding a blur onto the background like this. To add a blur, you go to effects and then blur. And then square blur. Alright, so the third trick is to just crop the video or zoom in real close. This particular crop works for this angle since it's focused on the guitar. But if it was a talking head, it might not work as smoothly as this. So the next trick is my favorite and I call it dual shot. It's not actually called like that, I just make names just for the sake of it. But it looks pretty cool. Alright, so the next trick is similar to the dual shot, but this time it's in 3 instead of 2. For me, I always make the center clip bigger than the sides, that way it doesn't look too repetitive. It actually kind of looks like a dance video almost. I got this idea from Tim Henson from Polyphia. He originally filmed a video for TikTok, but then he decided to make a widescreen version of it for YouTube. For the next trick is another dual shot, but this time it's just on top and bottom. The next trick is to crop the video from top and bottom leaving a blank space behind. Uh, it makes it look cinematic. This is also called letterboxing. There's actually no black bars there, it's, it's just blank. Alright, so the next trick is to add text to your videos. Text can be tricky because a lot of people try to cram in too much information in a small frame in such a short amount of time. And just remember that fewer texts are always easier to read. Alright, for this last one, we're just gonna do another dual shot again, but this time we're gonna focus on two different focal points. For this example, we're gonna focus on the face and on the guitar. Alright, so let's watch the entire thing. Just keep in mind that you don't need to do all these layouts in a single video. You might just need to use one or two or maybe three or a few. You can even combine some of them. At the end of the day, just use whatever works best for your project. Alright guys, I really hope you found this useful. If you guys like this, then please leave a like, subscribe, comment down below. Tell me what you think, maybe you got your own tips as well. Let's chat down below. 
Anyway, that's it for me, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one. Alright, peace out.